Chairman of the Department of Asian Art, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to Asia Week New York's reception here at the Met, and I would particularly like to welcome my granddaughter, Una, who is here with me to give me moral support. Thank you, Una. So let me tell you a little bit about tonight. You have an opportunity tonight to see almost all of the galleries of Asian art and to meet the members of our curatorial staff. But more than viewing wonderful works of art, I think what tonight will bring you is a chance to encounter extraordinary scholarship. Our goal is for each of our exhibitions to present not just artworks, but the artworks in a context that provide new and sometimes groundbreaking insights into their cultural significance. Let me tell you what's in store up these steps. Eleanor Hyun's Chegi, Korean Ritual Objects, looks at the connection between rituals and material culture and features a splendid new acquisition, an impressive Chosun Dynasty 10-panel screen with a beautiful golden embroidery. Jason Swins, celebrating the Year of the Rabbit, traces the iconography of that animal across nearly 3,000 years and when it was transformed for a symbol of speed to an anthropomorphic symbol of the zodiac. John Guy is in the early Indian galleries. He will be introducing works that have been recently put on display that have transformed our ability to understand early Buddhism. Joe Shire Zolberg, learning from the past, learning to paint in pre-modern China, maps out four fundamental ways that people learn the technique and artistry of Chinese painting. You will encounter there. You want to hear this. In the Chinese painting galleries, you will encounter an extraordinary work of art that none of you has seen before. This is a recent gift from the family of Wu Jianglun. It is one of the grandest hand scrolls ever to enter the Metropolitan Museum's collection. We're so grateful to that family for making this gift possible. Almost all of the 70 feet are unrolled. Please go look. On the floor above the Chinese painting gallery, go look at Pan Liang Lu's embracing color, enamels in early Chinese decorative arts. Hong Liang has created groundbreaking scholarship that demonstrates two periods of tremendous importance in the use of enamel or cloisonne, the 15th century and the 18th century. Look at that exhibition and learn. Kurt Behrens, Ganesha, Lord of New Beginnings, illustrates how distinctive that deity is, became a ubiquitous across all of South, Southeast Asia and the Himalayas. Monica Binchik, Perfect Imperfection on the Great Hall Balcony, in the collaboration with Abraham Thomas, our modern and contemporary curator for architecture and decorative arts, and is on view just outside the doors. Only the Arts of Japan galleries are not open this evening, and that is because Monica Binchik's extraordinary exhibition, Kimono Style, the John C. Weber collection, closed last month after welcoming nearly 400,000 people. Our next exhibition in that space, Anxiety and Hope in Japanese Art, created by Aaron Rio, explores the artworks created in response to the anxieties created by death, dying, and the afterlife. That will open on April 8th. Now, while the Japanese galleries are closed, John Carpenter, Monica, and Aaron are here with us this evening, so please say hello to all three of them. Finally, the Met's commitment to Asian art does not only exist in the Asian wing. When you leave the Asian wing, you'll see that colleagues across the museum have been highlighting Asian art as part of the museum's commitment to showing the importance of Asia in connection with the rest of the globe's artworks. Leslie Ma in our curative department of modern contemporary art. Marcus Sisko in our arms and armor department. 
Nabina Haidar in the Islamic Department, Jason Dante in the Musical Instruments Department, and Iris Moon in the European Sculpture and Decorative Arts are all working to highlight Asian culture in those spaces as well as in this wing. All of these curators are engaged in finding new ways to visualize Asia and its global impact. So please take advantage of Asia Week to visit not just the Asia Wing tonight, but all of the museum's galleries to see the many ways in which Asia is being forefronted by the Met and how we recognize that Asia is now as important as any of the other cultures represented in this building. That's thanks to the extraordinary gifts the generosity and commitment and energy that you bring to this field. Thank you. Have a wonderful visit.